so now what I will be working on is this trim right here. I'm gonna take it off. This is the last trim that I need to clean up and paint, uh, re dye it because I did the rest of them. This is the only one I have to do. All right, this is all cleaned up, dry, ready to apply the paint on it. It's gonna look amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to Vita's Garage and today we're going to be changing or actually taking out the seat on this Mercedes 190E. The driver's side seat is the last final seat that I need to actually like restore, take out. So I bought, a, actually over a year ago, I bought um, a good used Palomino seat assembly from eBay and I'm actually going to be re it today and I already re some of it. But now I'm going to take this uh, seat assembly out because this one's actually pretty bad, super torn and uh, I'll be swapping everything over to, onto a new seat. So here's the seat, it's all out. As you can see, it's super worn and we'll be fixing that with that one. I still have to dye that one. And uh, there are a couple of differences uh, as you can see i was able this you just peel this you just uh, there's these hooks you can just grab that towards you and it's gonna get undone and uh, there's this part right here it's gonna need to get transferred and this one but it looks like it's simple it's just like a bracket it's held on by this bolt i think so i'm gonna be able to transfer it onto that one Keep in mind that one is a passenger side. It was it used to be a passenger side seat. This one, yeah, so and this is the driver side. So the seat is currently getting disassembled. I got all these plastic parts off, but I'm about to separate these two halves from each other. So now take this bolt out, and this piece, this bracket should be able to slide out. Some wiggling. So you just need to loosen this motor right here, just two screws, two bolts, and this bracket comes out. All right, so this is all gonna get cleaned up. And um, now I'm just undoing this wiring harness and these uh, factory zip ties, you don't have to cut them. You just uh, use a pick and you slide it in there and then you put pressure on one of on this thing. Let's see if I can do it. Just like that, see? It's all intact, it's not broken, it's just cut like this from the factory, okay? This. And that's it, I can free up all these cables. So you have to transfer, so mainly is the seat buckle. Um, you have to loosen this um, right here from this zip tie and take it out this way. And then install it onto the new one. And then this wire is just gonna stay out because this one, as you can see, comes with these two cables as well. So what you need to swap is, you see these two wires? So you're gonna swap, actually open this connector and as you can see orange right there and this kind of grayish color. So that's the one you have to, those are two you have to take out. Now once you have this separated and you removed all the wires from it, you can set it aside because we're gonna use this frame obviously. Now you can, these two connectors are for the seat buckle. So you're gonna take it out of that way and make it easier. Just start removing, start separating these two halves like that. Okay pull this all the way out one thing i want to show you why i love it's one of the reasons why i love old school mercedes because anything you do 
is actually like it doesn't take much effort yes it takes effort but it's not as crazy because i know that if it was a brand new car or a newer car you would not be able to do this so let me show you all right so here's your seat belt buckle okay so it's got two connectors like i was showing you black and red now you see how this one is enlarged this hole and you see all these other wires right going to the motors right headrest motors inside of that now if this was a newer car i can guarantee you that you would not be able to take this stuff out just easily like that but with this stuff just moving some of these wires out of the way check this out one connector I'm gonna take this bracket off and here's the other connector just gotta push it out Oh, let's see. Let's make this work with one hand. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Come on. <laughs> it's exactly the same size connector. I'm just going to play around with this. Man, what a fail. Let's see. There you go. Finally. See that? And there's your belt buckle amazing okay so this is a new seat and i'm gonna install this thing right there now and there's an opening for it i just have to loosen this motor again for more space and we'll just have to kind of uh, put a hole in this um, vinyl and a couple of few spots for that bracket okay the motor is out of the way i can install this bracket now so and tighten it right there all right this is what it all looks like just the setup yeah so here is the old assembly right here all worn out but I'm not going to throw these away because there are a lot of other good parts on it, including, you know, the springs and, you know, the motors and all that stuff. Headrest is also good. So all these parts are cleaned up and getting dry now, ready for um, uh, repaint. And same with the, you know, uh, armrest and headrest right there. They're just drying up right now. Once they're dry, I'm going to uh, start applying coats of paint so as you can see this is the old uh back pad cushion and it's got this uh these two holes so i'm gonna have to do the same to the new one just gonna have to cut a few holes and it will be able to reattach our uh, armrest and it's amazing you know everything is literally interchangeable you know no matter what i mean this 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 uh, this is the driver's side and that seat i'm gonna use is the passenger side but i can literally transfer everything it's so amazing just cleaning this frame right here all these tracks and from all the junk here's our seat all restored, re-dyed, and everything. So, and actually what I learned about these is they're actually really nice and firm now. So you can go with a screwdriver from underneath and there's that plastic washer that you can actually put pressure on this. And with a screwdriver, you know, move that washer all the way up. That way it will tighten the clearance and they will be firm, okay? Now, since the headrest is gonna, or armrest is gonna go right here, I just had to cut out a couple of holes right here for that. And all these plastics were painted, re-dyed. Everything's been cleaned up really nicely. I'm about to install these plastics on this side. Okay, it's gonna be really amazing. Now, I'm waiting for some more paint to come in. That's why the headrest is not installed yet. So, the same with the back side. Man, it was terrifying to install this one, this piece. You have to be, you have to take your time, be really gentle with this thing because it's, uh, it wants to, you know, 
it's you have to kind of like twist it to install it but it's all good now this piece is gonna go right here too everything's been dyed as well so the seat is almost in all the way i also have the armrest i also redyed it and install that all right guys so the seat is almost ready it's already installed everything is bolted up and all that like i said i'm just waiting on more paint to come in so i can finish my headrest as well and as well as you know the back side where the seat net assembly is so but other than that take a look guys look how beautiful it is the head the armrest right there is all installed and you know, all the plastics are there and everything. I mean, except that plastic, it's been broken ever since I got the car, unfortunately. I have to figure something out with these. I really want to restore those buckles so they look fresh. Yeah, other than that, it's, it's so beautiful. I can't believe the difference, guys. It's like insane. Take a look at all that. How amazing this thing is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm gonna put leather conditioner on this baby now. It's gonna be nice and amazing. Look at that. So clean. So fresh, so clean. Also gonna condition the dash while I'm here. And then I'm gonna reinstall that dash cover on it. And as you can see, I'm not using any Velcro or adhesive BS for my dash cover. Just literally set it on top. It's not gonna go anywhere. All right, guys, so I put this, you know, just kind of for protection now, but the seat is all beautiful, all nice. Look at that, that's insane. So I'm gonna keep it as is until I get some good seat covers, nice seat covers for it. Amazing. The interior is literally like halfway installed or actually like almost all the way installed and uh, restored as well. Just have to finish up with all these plastics. Yeah, next thing I'm gonna work on is that.